Good day guys, today we are going to do a review on the Inglo Green Concealer. The green concealer is only for rectus, not something else. This one that I got is number 36. It is specifically for oily skin as I have post acne oily skin. How I like to use it is just apply a little bit here on your hand and then apply it with your finger. This helps to mat it in a little bit as it's very very sticky. I will only apply a little bit in tapping movements over my nose, here where I have the Kilimanjaro. And over my lip area where it's red. The secret is to apply it in a very, very thin layer. Otherwise, it gets too sticky and you can see it when you apply your base over it. So green only goes on redness. The rest of your concealer you will use to hide your blemishes. As you can see, I have some blemishes. So we will just do it over it because it is quite red. Yes, it is a little bit sticky and it's hard to use, but when you get the hang of it, I found it to be better. I have tried to apply it on with brushes and also sponges, but I find that it streaks too hard and it doesn't blend in well. And also then, your finger is much cleaner than anything else. Okay. And another secret before I forget is to only do it on a well moisturized face. Otherwise you will find that, that it doesn't move. It just sticks on like cement. Then we will add it off with a very good foundation. I like to use this one, the Maximum Double Wear from Estee Lauder. This one conceals for me the best. Just apply a very, very little bit on your hand. And then we will use the 27 brush. This is specifically for blending. We will go in circular movements starting from the top around. And what I like about them is their brushes are very, very affordable, but very, very convenient. <whistles> See, there you go. Ta-da! It's done perfectly. So the secret is to only use the tube one, 36, the green one, for only oily skin and a very, very little bit. The secret is to apply it with your finger as light as possible to get the best result. Thumbs up for 